Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Bankson. In my private practice, I deal with patients dealing with a variety of disorders, and frequently I find that there are many unasked questions, primarily because until you've been through a disorder, you don't know what questions to ask. So we try to anticipate some of those questions and ask them for you. Today, we're answering some of the questions that you may have in your journey through caring for someone with dementia. One of the questions that I think is important to address is as a caregiver trying to deal with someone with dementia, is there anything that you have found that is helpful in the day-to-day -day for making this journey a little bit easier? Yes, we were very, very fortunate in that early on uh, we found a lady who would come in two, uh, two or three times a week for a couple of hours to be with Mimi. And she was marvelous because when Mimi talked in her very limited vocabulary and very limited concepts, this lady could talk with her in that same language. And she could, she was a piano teacher, so she loved to have Mimi play the piano and she would help Mimi every once in a while when she got stuck and she would introduce Mimi to some new music which she picked up. It's amazing that Although she didn't play them, she still in her head had the memory of some of the old hymns. And so when this lady would mention those hymns or uh, play, <clears throat> play a little part of them, Mimi could pick it up and play it. So that was extremely helpful. So a form of respite care for a couple hours a week. Yes, and that was very helpful to me. That I had two hours where I could go to that caregiver's group or I could uh, do my exercises, go to the gym or... Uh, do some computer work, and it was uninterrupted. So that was uh, very helpful. So and in a the sense, other, it would give you a couple hours of mental break? Yes. And then the other thing, we found a lady, and it was very hard to find someone that could come and change her clothes and give her a shower and shampoo. That was very, very difficult. And uh, after many uh, trial and errors with professional uh, health care providers, we finally found one that could do this. And uh, Mimi was sometimes even combative. Uh, just, that's a difficult thing for a lot of the patients to uh, accept help in getting a shower or bathing. Uh, and that was, and I couldn't do it. I could not uh, give Mimi a shower myself. So this was very, very helpful. So respite care was care for her, but it provided you some respite. Yes, yeah. So this is one of the things that can be very helpful to you as a caregiver, trying to care for someone, a loved one with dementia. For more tips and suggestions for how to help in your journey dealing with someone with dementia, go to my website, drmichellebee.com. Blessings to you.